for October 3rd, 2018. Mike Adams did an expose on the uh, leftist terrorist organization. Posted Tuesday, October 2nd, 2018 by J.D. Heise. He's pardon me for mispronunciation. Dreams left this escalate calls for violence as Georgetown professor calls for the miserable deaths of GOP senators. Ah, you know, leftists are so nice and warm and fuzzy. Yeah. You know, the anti humanist movement. Continuing. And vitriol expressed by the Marxist America left is no longer just the kind of point and laugh idiocy that it used to be. It's rising to a level of hatred that always proceeds to violence. And it's just not something conservatives should be ignoring any longer. The most recent example of unhinged leftist hate comes from yet another perpetual angry feminist academic who likely has more time to spew her venom than the average female because she's perpetually alone. Commenting on last week's hearings involving Judge Brett Kavanaugh and his primary sexual assault accuser, Christine Blaisley Ford, who was a psychiatrist or psychologist that was involved in the MK Ultra's uh, torture program, Massive Therapy. Yeah, I trust her and everything that she has to say with no truth, reason, and evidence to back up her statements, and she's making false allegations against Judge Brett Kavanaugh. Just go away. Ford, just go away. You're disgusting. Continuing. Those uncooperated allegations have even been refuted by people she claimed were there at the time that the abuse occurred. Georgetown Distinguished Associate Professor Christine Fair tweeted that GOP members of the Senate Judiciary Committee deserve death. Campus reform reported. Look at the sick of entitled white men justifying a serial rapist arrogated entitlement, she wrote, in reference to a video depicting, quote, Lindsey Graham's tirade, unquote. Fair, who claimed she's a sexual assault victim, don't they all, added all of them deserve miserable deaths while feminists laugh as they take the last gasps. And then this, quote, bonus, semicolon, we castrate their corpses and feed them to swine, question mark, yes, unquote. No wonder she's a feminist. What man in his right mind would want to be around that kind of hateful garbage 24-7? If he wasn't a drinker beforehand, he'd surely be one afterward. <laughs> yeah. I concur. Well, Professor Fair's extremely offensive and violent remark goes against everything in line with the Georgetown's values, quote, said T.J. Collins, a recent Georgetown grad in an interview with Campus Reform, adding that, quote, President DeGuia should immediately issue a statement condemning the tweet and Professor Fair should not be permitted in the classroom ever again, unquote. I strongly concur. You shouldn't be around anyone for that matter. Well, we know what's not going to happen. Georgetown, like virtually every other major American university, is a left-wing hate magnet teaching students that America represents all that is bad in the world. Needless to say, her hate did not go unnoticed. Quote, as a student applying to this school, I wouldn't have dared to use that kind of language on a social media platform, especially surrounding a sensitive and controversial issue. Georgetown wouldn't have admitted to me if they had seen stuff like that, unquote, said a student who wished to remain anonymous in an interview with campus reform. Violence is your only outlet. Yeah. Continuing. When contacted by campus reform for a comment there, just days before tweeted, GOP doesn't care about them. We knew this fuck them did not demand her demeanor much. There is a war going on against women and you and the despicable herd of so-called journalists seeking to protect our male privilege and shame women for victimization or complicit in this war, I quote, she said. Campus reform noted. Just wow. How does one exist on that much hate? 
As for the vitriolic left, the casual reference to violence coupled with the easy use of a co- accusatory language sans evidence and rationality, the generalization of an entire gender and ethnicity has no back door. There isn't any way of talking someone out of those kinds of characterizations. There's no reaching someone who thinks this way, hates this much, and is perpetually angry. Worse, there is no other outlet for this kind of rate except violence. And while someone like Fair may not actually commit it, she sounds like she'd be more than willing to at least look at the other way and even cheer it on for violence or being committed against the right people, like white male conservatives. That's what makes this kind of inflammatory rhetoric increasingly dangerous. It is anger searching for an outlet, and when it finds one, there's no going back. Conservatives and constitutionalists who believe in civil society and social compacts that will keep the peace had better understand leftists will soon become society's disruptors and it won't end well. Read more about the coming left-wing violence at violence.news. Sources include campusreform.org, the national sentinel.com. Okay, here's my take on this. If you want to incite a genocide and violence, you know what that is? That's called Title 18 USC Code Subsection 1091 under genocide. Starting and inciting a genocide. Your ass should be on notice for war crimes at the Hague and charged in state federal court. So if you want to be stupid, go right ahead. Let's call it as it is. You people are notice for genocide, starting and inciting a genocide in the communist revolution. We're not the Bolshevik revolution and we aren't going there. We're not going there. You're going into a 12 by 12 in a permanent vacation with the keys thrown away in mid-Atlantic. We'll to you. You start inciting violence in your little leftist communist group backed by George Soas, who's an anti-humanist, in a satanic movement is game over. You're on notice. So, thank you very much for playing this game. Game is on you, and we're on to you. For Title 18, USC Code, Subsection 1091, for inciting a genocide. Have fun with that.